Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Subnautica. Yeah, that's right, it's Subnautica. Hey, our fishies are popping out babies. How cute is that? I'm just super adorable with it. Okay, we're gonna grab you. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do with you, because I'm just really, really hungry, is devour you. Just like swim into the <laughs> swim into the containment center and just steal the father or mother away from the kid. That's just what I do. That's how things are going. Anyway, today I've got a couple of plans. Uh, one, I want to get this thing above and breaching the surface of the uh, of the water here. Uh, that's going to be the overall goal. Uh, hopefully, we can make that work. At the same time, I also want to get. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. All right. Jesus, that was just. Too much flickering. We're gonna need like two or three more. It's gonna be a ton of titanium, um, which is not that big a deal. And the only, the other thing I want to work on, though I don't know if I'll do it today, is I want to get the Seamoth thing done. We need two con computer chips uh, to make that work properly, though, which is gonna take quite a bit of resources. But we will try. Gosh dang it, we will try. Um, but first, let's go get some titanium. Let's build another room. We'll uh, we'll get like an aquarium going all the way to the top uh, at some point as well, which is kind of a, a big goal for me as uh, also. Uh, I will also want to start putting like uh, glass windows in these rooms so I can see into the aquarium from the outside. I think that'll look really really neat. Um, but for now, it's all about just grabbing as much metal as I can and making good use of it. Can I? New creature discovered. I was gonna say, can I scoot you up? Cause I'm sure you're useful. Okay, what do I, what, what did I have? All right, there we go. I don't know what I was holding there, but I didn't think it was gonna be useful. Right. That's fine, don't worry about me, computer, uh, computer waifu. Every little thing is gonna be all right. Every little thing is gonna be all right. I want you, because if I can get two air dudes, I can at least make use of that. Also, I didn't realize the kelp was uh, breaching the surface over here as well. Um, all right, let's grab this while we're here because I can see it and we you never know, we're gonna need it. Beautiful. And we'll swing home to home base. Uh, we'll, we'll have enough titanium to make this and then we will, ooh, do I have enough? No, we'll just unload the battery. And then we'll uh, continue on. Yeah, it's just gonna be continue building and making our base just as good as possible over the next uh, episode or two, like I said. I feel like it's gonna be, uh, not necessary, but it's gonna be nice. Let's swing into here. And what I'm gonna do is drop you. Wait, what's happening? Am I in here? I'm in here. All right, there we go. Drop, drop, drop. Let you guys kind of swim around. The more fish I have in here, the better. Just kind of fill it up to the best of my capabilities. And then the other fish that I caught is purely for uh, devouring purposes. And uh, we'll continue to just kind of like thin out the herd, I guess, as it were, as they continue to populate the uh, the aquarium itself. Just purely for usage of, uh, of food. And energy, of course, until I can get a better source of energy, but... Um, for now, we come out here, and I do this. And there we go. And then we just keep doing that until we break the surface. Oh, I have five? T okay, no, I had I had some titanium. So yeah, we're gonna need like another three. I just wanted to barely breach the surface. Maybe we'll just create a giant tower at some point, but for now, all I wanted to do is just barely break the surface. And then we can really worry about, uh, uh, I guess, like fine tuning or making it look just like better and more fancy as time goes on. This, one of these rooms is going to end up being pulled out, I think, though. I think I'm going to break down one of these rooms. Mainly because I don't think I'm going to use this one. I mean, right away, anyway. I might just break it down temporarily. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do while I was in here, though. And this battery thing I might actually remove at some point as well. Okay, put that in there. I'm going to take one battery, recharge it, put that in there. And let's just break this down for now. Because it's just not being used for anything. So we'll just kind of absorb this. And I think I can break this down as well. No. Damn it. Well, that's alright. It's not a huge deal. It's, it's a little annoying, but 
Not a big one. Okay, we'll drop another multi-purpose room right on top of it. We'll call this Tower Day Mathis. I like it. I think we'll only need one more. I think we're gonna be good. All right. I'm just gonna use this to swim around. I, I do have a spare battery. I don't really need to drag the Seamoth around for something as simple as just looking for titanium. Uh, in the kelp forest areas in particular, titanium team seems to be relatively uh, popular and readily available, as it would be. And then once my base is kind of in a spot where I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, uh, the next step is going to be working on getting the Cyclops up and running. Which is something that I have not been able to do since way back in the day. I have not seen or played with the Cyclops in quite a while. Um... So it'll be really exciting to see what the Cyclops is like now. I'm sure just like the rest of the game, there's been incredible amounts of changes to how it works. And I'm sure there's like going to be upgrades available and stuff. There's a lot of stuff in this uh, that has to do with the Cyclops, I think, that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun and worth checking out. The question is, what do I need for the Cyclops? And I'm, I'm wondering if my assumption of building the parts separately first and then going to the vehicle, mobile vehicle builder bay are, are right. I assume they are. I also should probably move the mobile vehicle bay closer to my home. Also, what the hell? Where is... Here I am like, kelp forest, man! It's metal rich! Lots and lots of metals. I'm not seeing any. I got one piece that whole time, and that was it. But our self-sustaining uh, functionality is slowly coming into, into play here. We are no longer really like hunting food that often anymore. Water is just no longer a problem, speaking of. Water is just not an issue anymore. It's really cool to see that all coming together. I don't think I've ever been in a, in a spot really where food and water has not been an issue in this game. Because the last time I really played for this long, there's a piece of metal. Um, where I, you know, I had a Cyclops and stuff. There really wasn't, there wasn't a water purifier. There wasn't any like aquarium stuff. That stuff didn't exist. Back in my day, this kind of thing didn't exist. Old time of math, this knows what it was like to truly struggle. Alright. Seriously, though. Okay, uh, let's do this. Pop this in here. Now, we might need, what, one or two more? I think we will we'll be good with just one. We'll find out, and mm, we're gonna need two, I think. Damn it! So close. Yeah, this is not truly breaching the surface. Like, I think just due to, like, waves, it breaks the surface every once in a while, but not often. Alright, that's fine. We just need one, uh, plus that one. Alright, let's just go out this way and see what we can grab. This is already a lot better than it was before. That might actually be enough. Let's find out. Can I enter the base through my moon pool? I assume I must be able to. I can. That's really cool. I'm a fan. How you guys doing in there? Everything good? I don't know. I just got this really terrible song stuck in my head right now. Okay. Something about a feeling and then a ba 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 ba. Okay, one more room. That's gonna be perfect. Now I should be able to deconstruct everything. The question is, can I get on top of it? I don't think I can. So can I build power-wise? I really can't. So the question is, how do I reach that? I mean, Tower Day Mathis is gigantic, but I don't know if I can get to the roof. Maybe it's worth it just to remove this one and, and move them closer to the top? I don't know. Is it worth doing that? Because I, I can't actually build them on top. Hmm. Where's my sea moth? Let me try something. My sea moth is in my bay, mobile vehicle bay. I was curious if I can stand on top of it, maybe. And then climb up, up from there, but I don't think I can. 
So why don't I do this? Okay. And then why don't I do this? Because this might actually work. That. This yeah, this is this this actually is probably the best way to go about it. All right, so we can dive in, and I will deconstruct these because I'm gonna get my quartz back, plus all the titanium from them. Melt away. All right. And it will be a bit more sightly, I guess. It'll look a lot better. There we go. And that'll be exactly the amount of quartz we needed. So sun, 59%. I don't even know what that means. But does that mean, like, that's how much sun it's getting? 58%? All right. I think that's our best bet. Honestly, I think it is. And then what I can do is start building ladders up and start really making that place look as fancy as possible. But for now, we don't have a lot of power, but we have some power. This thing is not doing ex uh, nearly as much as I'd like it to. At the same time, I might actually take this and move it into another room, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, the next thing I want to build is the, where is it? The upgrade station, which is this, glass and computer chips times two. So before I worry about that, I need to make sure I have all the resources. And to build a computer chip, I need two coral samples, so I need four coral samples and two silver ore. That's not that big a deal. Uh, the coral samples in particular are very simple for me. It's the silver ore that's going to be a little bit more problematic. But we should be fine. So that's two. Well, we're going to have to take out our sea moth. Uh, and the only problem with that is that means when I finally do have the... I have to bring back my sea moth. It's going to drain the power so fast just trying to recharge the sea moth. But... Do what you gotta do, I guess. Boop, right in we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. God, that's so fun. <laughs> that is really cool to do still. That is like really nerdy and well animated, and I love it. Okay, uh, I want the welder first. Let's slap the welder in here because I want to repair this. Nope. There we go. Keep that as well fixed up as I can. Gold is not what I need. I just need silver. It's possible that bringing out the uh, sea moth is not necessary, but the big thing about the sea moth and why I wanted to bring it out is it allows me to not have to constantly return to the surface for air. And that is a big win. Now, what the hell is this? I'll take it for the titanium. A couple pieces of titanium can go a long way. I don't know what I just picked up. Copper? All right, that's fine. We don't need titanium. Sounds like there was like a big moaning going on. Don't go too far from the sea moth. Keep it within sight. Don't fuck yourself. Those are the key features of this particular exploration. Lead, well I'll take lead. Lead still seems to be valuable to me, even though I don't know why. I know there's a couple things that are going to require it, at least. Copper. Again, not necessary to pick up. Now, let's move further out. I knew I heard a reef back out in the distance there. There he is, doing his thing. Floating around. Majestic as fuck. 
I do not see anything to crack open. All right, you coming this way, man? That's neat. I appreciate that. I, I like the visitation. You just look like you might be a little confused or something. Thank God you're not violent. That's all I have to say. If you were violent, life would be a much scarier place in this ocean. Another one. Yeah, another propulsion cannon. A lot of propulsion cannon fragments out here. Man, I'm telling you, some of these rock pieces that are not actually rock pieces look like rock pieces. You know what I'm saying? Like, this looks like a rock piece. It's not. It's another propulsion cannon fragment. This guy, I think he's confused. Maybe he's lost. Maybe he's calling for his family. I don't know where your family is, man. I'm sorry. You know what? These look like they might be something special. You're gonna go that way. I'm just gonna shoot you off into the distance. I didn't mean to do that. Is my, is my inventory full? Couldn't pick him up. It is full. Well, we're gonna drop you then. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. God damn it. Alright, back into the sea moth. Back into the sea moth! We dancing! Rocks? These look like at least two rocks here, so hey, we might have something here. Thank you. Nope, don't need copper. Come on. Why is gold more common than silver, for fuck's sake? Help a brother out. Battery charger fragment doesn't help me. Here's another rock. Here's a couple of rocks. Come on. Hook me up. Yes, thank you. All right, no, it's fine. You can yell at me all you want. I'm getting out of here. Hell no. Get me out. Asshole. I knew it was coming for me. Piece of garbage. All right, we'll just dock this up. Doesn't have to do much charging either, which is awesome. There we go. Uh, let's go this way. And let's make our computer chips. I need one more quartz? Shit. I also need to grab two for a glass, so... Works for me. All right, that should be everything that I need for the upgrade station. I'm pretty sure. Let's go over here and take a look. It is. What? Excuse me? Hello? Hello? Why am I not allowed to put this down? Build this in the moon pool. Alright, let's try that again. That's why I was trying to build it in like the corner or something. I'm be Hello? What am I supposed to do? No? Uh. uh... Really? All that? For not even knowing what the hell I'm supposed to do with it? It's not snapping. Oh, whoop, oh, oh, whoop, oh. whoop. Wait, what? I saw it for a second, man. It, did, it went green for like a, oh, a moment. That's really strange. Why is that where it goes? What the fuck? There's a fabricator in here? Oh, shit. I can rename it. Oh, fuck yes. Sea moth. Bitch moth. That's bitch moth. Hell yeah. And I can recolor it. 
Oh, nice. It's not really an upgrade station. It's more like a modification station, but still. I can be like, yo, straight up. Straight up. And then, now look at it. Oh, that is sexy. That is really neat. It's useless for the most part. The bitch moth is docked. Hell yeah. All right, I gotta wrap this episode up here, but hey, we did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, come back next time for some more Subnautica. Consider dropping a like. Support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.